The music just feels so good. You, 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 you're on the number one. www.radio.com Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Welcome back. You know what it is? It's the Echo Chamber with DJ Echo, and I am super, super excited to get this this December month started with somebody who I just totally love the music. Excited to have her on the show today. Uh, everybody, welcome Georgia Long of Five O'clock Charlie. Georgia, how are you? Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me on. Seriously. Listen, it is an absolute pleasure, an absolute pleasure. Um, I don't really get a lot of like rockers on. Like you're just like you're a straight rocker, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, some of the photos that you have on your IG are just like epic. Like I just one day I want to be like, hey Georgia, can I just hang out with you? Can I just chill with you one day? <laughs> you know? Well, of course, yes. I'm looking for any excuse to come back to New York. So hit me up and let me know. All right. So where are you? Let's put it that way. So current, okay, so currently I'm in Lubbock, Texas. It's okay. my hometown. Um, I was living in LA, and then you know I lost both my jobs in the same day, and then it seemed like what the hell is going on, right. and so you know just ended up coming to spend it the rest of the time with my family, and then got another job here, and so I make all my music with my family here, right. and so I was just like, you know what, it's the best idea just to stay here for now. Until right. I figure out where, where the next place is, you know. I right, listen. I totally understand. Gotta go where the money is, you know. Gotta go where the money is. Exactly. Now, we gotta go where opportunity is too. Exactly. Exactly. So going from <laughs> LA to Texas, what's the biggest difference in the weather? Oh, <laughs> we actually have seasons here. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Like, like today was seventy-two and perfect, but like a week ago, it was like thirty. And it already froze overnight, so it's just oh, wow. crazy. Okay. And we had we had a couple of blizzards already, uh, like in the last couple of years, and so it's just like you never know what you're gonna get with West Texas weather. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's all go. right. We, we got the music playing <laughs> in the background. We got today and eternity. I think I maybe maybe one. maybe one of my favorite songs. Maybe could be. You never know. Could be. Could be. Uh, playing in the background so let's let's get let's dive right in let's dive right in so um where i mean you kind of kind of gave a little bit off of it but where did mm-hmm. you grow up okay so yeah like i was saying uh Lubbock, texas is my hometown um and so growing up i actually i have two sisters and we we all sing Right. Like my, my family is very, very musical. And okay. so I grew up singing with my sisters from like as early as I can remember. Um, and so we, we started singing like country music when we were kids because we're in West Texas, you know. Uh, of course, <laughs> of course. It's, it's, it's in the but blood. It's also, right. But also, like, Lubbock's actually a really big music town. Like, Buddy Holly's from here, Wayland Jennings. Uh, I, I think Natalie Maines is from the Chicks. Um, okay. So. You know, it's just like a musically based area, and so I'm blessed to be from here. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So I mean, so basically, you were you were, it's in your blood. You're surrounded yep. by it. I mean, surrounded yep. by it. So who who were some <laughs> of your like influences growing up? Um. Well, you know, I'm a '90s baby, so I like grew up with like Celine Dion, the Spice Girls, and Pink. Gotcha. Spice <laughs> and, like, Girls. All that shit. Yeah. But then, like, as I got older, I started, like, listening to a whole bunch of other stuff. And, like, I, th- I think you can, like, hear it in my music. I went through, like, a hip-hop phase. I went through, like, a reggaeton phase. Mm-hmm. I went through <laughs> a rocker phase. Right, like, right, right. You, as you already said, I'm, I'm a hardcore rocker, you see. Gotcha. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I, it, so, okay, so your hashtag is electropop, right? Is that, or electro rock? Yes. Electropop. Electropop. Okay. So be- before we even go any further, explain uh-huh. what that means to you because it might be some- mean something else to somebody else. But what does it mean to you, Electropop? Okay. So, like, I don't think my stuff is necessarily mainstream. I don't think it's just, like, super indie, though. All my stuff is. Okay. So, have you ever heard of the band uh, The Knife and the song Heartbeats that they did? 
I have it, but I'm going to have to go check it out. Uh, you got to do it. <laughs> so, like, so I, they kind of, like, turned my brain onto, like, hyper synth heavy, all electronically played. I like having a little bit of, like, you know, guitar and piano and stuff in there. But, like, normally it's not not a whole heap of acoustic music. Right. And, and so this electro pop is just, like, kind of my best version to express how we do music. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. I, I, I hope that suffices. I don't know. That, listen, that, it, it's going to have to because that's what you're, <laughs> that's what it means to you. So, that's um, true. Okay, so... <laughs> It's just good pop music. <laughs> hey, listen, it's good music. Regardless of what uh-huh. it is, it's good music. Um, I love you saying that. Uh, well, listen, 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 listen. We got a, the, the, the elephant in the room. Elephant in the mm-hmm. room. So your mm-hmm. name is Georgia, but yeah. why and where did 5 O'Clock Charlie come from? Um. Okay, so my, okay, I was raised. Did you ever see the show MASH? Yeah, of course. Course. <laughs> so I, my mom was obsessed with the show Mash. I'm pretty sure it's because her dad. Don't you sing that song to me? Okay. We have to go back real quick. Right, let's come back. Let's come back to the to the 2021s. <laughs> right. Um. But yeah. So my mom was obsessed with it, and I grew up on it. And there's like there's one episode in which. Like, I'm really goofy in nature, right. and so um, there's one episode, and I think it's the second season, first episode, wow. but it's actually titled By the Clock Charlie, and it's this guy that comes in, and he's just really bad at his job, and, like, they take bets on, like, how far away, like, that he's going to bomb. It's a long story, but it's super nerdy, but go check out the episode. I highly suggest it. Oh, my. <laughs> You're giving us homework. I love it. <laughs> I lo- and listen, for the younger audience that we get, they got to know mm-hmm. about MASH. Like You have to know about MASH. It had so many breakthroughs. Oh, my goodness. So many. And I got to go there a whole bunch whenever I was in L.A. to where they shot it. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> but I love I love the, the, the ode to the, to the... I mean, that's even before 90s. That was... Oh yeah. Seven, when oh, when did the mash? It's gotta be seventies, right? Seventies into eighties. Seventies into eighties. Wow. Ooh. Go yeah. ahead, girl. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, I also like really support our military and the veterans, and yeah. so I really like how that ties in and how I can like try to help raise money and awareness for that. Nice. Nice. Look at you, know. you! All right, all right. I'm Doing like, some things. Listen, I'm liking. I'm liking the way this interview is going. Loving it. <laughs> loving it. <laughs> okay, so we, we we got to know a little about you. Okay, we got to know a little bit about uh, the, the name of the because the, the, I love the name of the band. The, oh, the name. Okay, so another elephant in the room. So, mm-hmm. is it a is it a band? Like, do you actually have? Like, do you, do you perform live with a band? Do you have a band that is with you, or is it kind of just? That's just what the name of the the experience is. Okay, so that's a hard question to answer. Okay, <laughs> um, okay so I started out as a one woman band. Like right. I played in New York as a, literally like playing guitar around my neck, piano, pedals, you know, doing all of it. Gotcha. And like as I've been evolving, like all my stuff, I pretty much write with three other people okay. it's my sister my brother-in-law and my my friend slash producer uh steven solomon okay. and so like but whenever i play like i bring on different people for whatever kind of vibe i'm going with like i, I before i left la and before everything shut down i was doing acoustic shows with mm-hmm. just um an electric guitarist and that was it right but then like also performing shows to like just my tracks Mm-hmm. And then I'm actually I'm trying to plan a tour Ooh. for 2022 oh, nice. to celebrate 2.0, and that will be a full band. Okay. So it's just kind of me as the front woman 
with my humans behind me. I don't know. <laughs> with your humans behind you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a whole five o'clock Charlie experience, the whole thing, the yeah. music and the the yep. instruments, the whole thing. All right, I got I got yep. I'm I'm up yep. to date now. I appreciate you for, for <laughs> allowing me to catch up. <laughs> so you, you well, mentioned I also think what well, I was gonna say, I think um during this tour I think I'm gonna prefer to be a front woman instead of like being behind an entire rig and that's why I wanna do like a full band thing. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I wanna like be with the people. Gotcha. You gotta be with the people. Because the, peop- the people <laughs> love 5 O'Clock Charlie. I hope they do. I want you to. Uh, they will. They will. Listen, listen. They will. It, and listen, if you come to New York, I'm going to be in those stands. I'm going to be chilling. Thank I'm going to be, you know, throwing roses. Or, I don't know. Do people still do that? Am I old school? Do I, do- I, I want you to throw roses. I got Maybe you. Maybe not fruit or anything like that, but like roses for sure. I'm listen, I will bring a whole bouquet of roses and I will toss them up. You know, as, as as I get closer, I'm trying to try to get to the front of the stage. <laughs> we'll we'll make it happen. We'll make I, it happen. I'll give you backstage tickets. Oh, right. well, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. So you brought up 2.0. So this is your EP that you have out right now. So yes, okay. So so let's let's first of all let's talk about 2.0. What does that mean? So I like to think of it. Uh, did you listen to my first album? I have not. I have not. Okay, well, it's basically, uh, like, I feel like this is the next iteration of 5 O'Clock Charlie. I think I've definitely been growing up, mm-hmm. and, like, my music has been evolving as I have. Like, mm-hmm. life is definitely, you know, changes how I perceive things all the time. And so I feel like this is just the next iteration of myself and my music. Okay, okay. And so, it, so I, like, think of it, you know, whenever you used to get, like, I don't know, if, I don't know how old you are, but... You used to get like AOL updates. Oh yes. I, yes. I'm AOL old. Out. Yes, I'm AOL. <laughs> okay. <old. laughs> so yeah, like mine's like the the next version up. Gotcha. So. Okay. Okay. The, the the more improved, uh, better yes. bandwidth, uh, yes, more storage. Exactly. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, who helped? Now you, you talked about uh, your friend being one of the producers. Uh, mm-hmm. Who else was involved in the album and the EP? Sorry. Um, so it's typically just me, my sister Lindsay Boring, uh, my brother-in-law William Boring, and my friend Stephen Solomon. And like, I like to keep it just our little core because, like, man, we're getting to the point. Like, spoiler alert: I've got a Christmas song coming out. Oh. It, I'm, it, 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 it's coming out on the third. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, when we were writing that, it took us like a day. Like I woke up with that song in my head, but like it took us a day to like lay it out and get it clean. And I'm like so happy with it. And it's like such a like super like us version of it. Right. Like just because it's like a Christmas song doesn't mean that it's not like electro pop or yeah. whatever. No, you no, know? you have to throw your spin on it. So right, now, exactly. now is this a now is this a cover of like an like an old Christmas song? Or this is like brand new. You wrote this like this is brand new. Oh, we love it. Brand spanking new. Oh, we love it. We love it. I love it too. I'm this so Friday. Excited. That's this Friday, right? That's the third. That's this Friday. Yep, exactly. And so, if, if you want to go pre-save it, it's in my link in my bio. Blah blah blah. <laughs> no blah blah blah. Let's talk about it. Pre-save. Go there. Go to her IG. So let, let's. You know yep. what? What's your IG right now? Let's talk about. It. Let's let everybody know and let them know what to do. Go ahead. Um. Okay. So go to my Instagram. It's at five o'clock Charlie. It's all spelled out. All one word. No apostrophe. No nothing apostrophe. like that. Yes. Yeah. Just F I V E O C L O C K C H A R L I E. Not that I've had to repeat that a thousand times. <laughs> no, I, I was lost already. I got lost after the five. Uh, That's and I, fair. And That's I, fair. that that whole that was like a little dig that the no apostrophes. That was a little dig on me. I you know I understand. <laughs> no, it's everybody. It's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so so go everybody listening. When when the when the show is done, wait just just you, you got time. When the show is done, head over to her Instagram again. Five o'clock, Charlie. All written out, one word, no apostrophes, no spaces, no nothing, and pre-save. Mm-hmm. Now, what's the? Can you give us the name of the song? Can you at least? Yes, it is called Christmas Morning Feeling. Christmas Morning Feeling. I, I, ooh, yes. Ooh, ooh, I love it already. All right, so they gotta go there. You know that feeling? Yeah, you know that feeling. That, like Christmas morning, you as a kid, it's just oh. like the best, most magical feeling. 
I mean, so I wanted a, to like encapsulate that. I'm telling you, that's a nice feeling. I mean, you we don't get that a lot as adults, but I mean that when mm-hmm. we were kids, like knowing that this could be the best day of your it's entire so much life. Magic, right? yes, it's yes, so yes. magic. Yes, yes, definitely. You know, you ain't gotta worry about going to school. You know, right. uh, hopefully mom and dad <laughs> made some cookies or something in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what did Santa bring me? Like, exactly. I, I'm, I'm, I swear I heard the roof print it's from the, the roof last night. Yup, yeah, the cookies and milk are gone. Right. All that good stuff. Yeah. I understand. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, okay, so we okay, so we we talked a little bit about the 2.0. You got a song coming out this Friday. Super dope. Yes, we want it. We're gonna play it. You know how that goes. That's automatic. Okay. Yes, um, love that. Okay, so we're going to go over what, what I want to do here is I'm going to name the songs off the EP and I want you to mm-hmm. give me one word to describe the vibe of the song. Mm, okay. The vibe. Okay. okay. okay? Like the vibe. Okay. okay. So uh, we'll start out with There Goes My Body. Mm, I think it's sexy. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. All right. Um, you got me like. Uh, that one's dreamy. Dreamy. That one's so yeah, it's so dreamy to me. Okay. And then like the little haze in it, like kind of bring, like snap you back to reality a little bit. Yeah, right. that's okay. the song. I like it. I like it. The <laughs> stars are always shining. Mm, that one probably inspirational. Okay, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I, mm-hmm. the words. I, I write, we're, we're gonna talk about stars. We're gonna talk about stars are always shining because the words are very inspirational so yes i agree with that uh, yeah, <laughs> i love it too much <laughs> uh, I, this one's a little feisty i like this one little uh-huh so i feel like it's a little self-explanatory but with um and i don't think i can cuss on this gotcha. uh, yeah, radio show but what we'll, we'll say we'll say screw boy <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. All right. I gotcha. All right. I understand. 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 Okay. Now, this is my... I love this song. We're playing it right now. This, to, to me, this is like, especially after you talking about, like, you know, where you got the name of the group from and you being a an 80s, 90s baby, like, mm-hmm. this has, to me, this has, like, I don't know, it's got, like, this 80s romantic like i could hear this song as like the end of like a like uh like i don't know like end of some like romantic comedy like i just it just brings me back like i love this song today in eternity give me a one word come on i want to just say hopeful see yes and and like on the real like i think this is probably my favorite song off the album too like you can i'm sure you can probably hear it in my voice and how i'm like singing it in the album but i just love that song so much just I the really notes do. follow me to the, i mean just ah it's just it's good it's good all right, all right. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta bring it back i gotta bring it back i get okay. excited sometimes walk it up, walk so it up. i gotta i gotta exactly walk it up. all right all right so what so okay so let's let's talk a little bit about uh stars are always shining um so what is that what does that song mean to you like what are you trying to get across with that song um okay well did you ever read or watch hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy yes it's based off of that movie oh um and it, there was one day i was in my apartment in la and i was just like sitting there like kind of like starting to vibe for songwriting and stuff and then i like look up and see the sun and i was just like oh well that's a star like you can, doesn't matter what time of day it is like you can always be chasing after your dreams mm. the stars are always shining and so you always have something to like keep you reminded that like you've got this chase after those dreams you can do it I like it and I, I like it, oh and I will say that literally every single one of my family including my three year old I think she was either two or three whenever we recorded it um, she's even on it. Oh wow! It's so sweet. I love that <laughs> so much. So <laughs> uh, so let, let's talk about the visuals off of the video. I I I've done actually literally all my videos for this album, including um, "There Goes My Body," which was like a full production one. 
but like all the videos i'm proud to say that i've done myself i mean really really good thanks mate. yeah i learned how to i learned how to do all the all of the editing and everything and I, I swear my my production is just getting bigger and bigger each time and each like each album we do you know right now listen, I, I'm 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 a, a a a supporter of those that um want to expand without having to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Like like I do I like I do my own logos, I do my own uh, mm-hmm. you know, album like design work and this and that. Not not that I don't I don't wanna pay, but I would rather save that money for something else. You know what I'm saying? Right. So in exactly. your case, if you can do your own and they come out really good, like if you could do your own Thank videos you. How, how long Thank did it you. take those letters? How long did it take you to make those letters? The giant letters? Yes, the giant That's- letters. <laughs> um, that took me... It took me a couple of weeks because I had to buy, buy everything in installments, essentially. And right. I made them all myself, you know? And right. so, <laughs> like, it probably took me a total of... I want to say, like, 20 hours plus. Ooh. Wow. What, it, was, what, it, was what, that, it was at least that. What, what, what desert was that in? Um, it was at White Sands, New Mexico, Alan Gordo. Wow. I'm telling you, girl. I'm telling you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Dude, thank you. All right, all right. All right. So what what do you want what do you want your listeners to take away from your music? Um, I probably just want them to take away how much I actually love and obsessed with music I am right. like I'm I like I, I I think about literally nothing else it's kind of a little pathetic but <laughs> like get me my Grammy <laughs> exactly well, I, I, I want them to be inspired I want right. them to just be able to feel my love for not only music but for love for family for fun I just like want people to be inspired by this music and, and love it as much as I do, really. Okay, I like that. I like that. Yeah. You know. I like that. Nice, <laughs> nice and nice and simple. Just you know, I just listen. I love music. I want you to understand that I love music. <laughs> right. And in, and in the meantime, if you want to love my music, heck yeah, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, for those that. Uh, don't follow you on Instagram, which um, I implore I, them to get on that. You right, have you have you. something called Five O'clock Fridays. Yeah. Let's it, let's chat about that. Well, it started on a Hello Fresh box. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was funny because I was um, my, my sister, the one that I, I do songwriting with. She helps me with some of my. Uh, my promo videos and uh she was like okay here's what we need to kind of say blah 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 and then she was like where do you want to shoot it and so <laughs> just naturally i don't know why this is how i am but i saw a hello fresh box outside and just posted it up on it and i was like hey <laughs> and it, it all that's, started from there it did and so it gave me an opportunity to not only pr- promote the album coming out but also a chance for people to like see me live and like right. see like what i can do if they've not heard me and like especially since things were still just like opening back up and stuff you know right. what i mean mm-hmm. and so i mean like i ha- i ha- honestly haven't done them in a, in a month or so but if, if i should restart them then everybody reach out to me and let me know <laughs> that's it right everyone needs to jump on their instagram and just you know just say hey we need more we need, we need more. more that's it let we just know. need more we need more <laughs> don't we all <laughs> exactly <laughs> i got a little choked up there <laughs> um, don't die uh, it's, all, it's all good okay so oh, where do you have more fun and I, I, I like asking this to people because it, it kind of lets me know, um, you know, which which like which which direction they they're more involved in. Like, so when it comes to your music, mm-hmm. which is more fun for you, recording in the studio or performing on stage? That one's a hard one because <clears throat> it's like in the studio. 
I get to show my creativity. Yeah. I get to, I like, and I, I already told you I'm obsessed with music, but right. even more so, I like whenever I get a song in my head that I want to lay down, like it's like it's all I can think about. And so like when when I finally get to get into the studio, I'm like, oh, we're we're finally doing it. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> right. But like, but then whenever I get on stage, you get to represent yourself. You get to show your work. You get to interact with the fans. And like, I think I've done over a thousand shows in my lifetime. And so like, it's uh, like obviously oh, oh, something Whoa, 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 Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Stop, stop. Yes, sir. Stop <laughs> the press. Stop. You, what, you You said a thousand shows? Yeah. Yeah. From when I, cause I told you, me and my sisters, we toured when we were kids. Yeah. And, and we've a, had bands. That's a lot. <laughs> It's still a lot. <laughs> I know. So, like, whatever, like, if it goes too long between the time I get to perform, and, like, that's also part of the reason why 5 o'clock, tur- like, 5 o'clock Fridays were a thing is because, like, I hadn't been able to perform in a while. Right. And so I was like, hey, let me, uh, <clears throat> let me add it. <laughs> and so I, I miss that hype and I miss that energy and I miss that connectivity. And, like, again, I love. Like, I live, I don't think people, because again, I said I'm a goofball. I feel like people don't, like, really take me seriously sometimes. Right. And so for me to, like, get up on stage and, like, like blast my, my, my vocals out, you know, and, like, do my thing. And for people to be like, oh, you actually are a performer. I'm like, yeah, I, I told you that. And they're like, oh. <laughs> Oh. So, man, I don't know, but I, lo- I love them both. I love all of it. Okay. I really do. Right, I'll take that. I can take that. I, you're, okay, you're cool enough. You. You're cool enough. I can take that. Uh, <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> you're welcome. All right. So um, for those listening, they're like, oh, man, this 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 Georgia girl from mm-hmm. Texas and L.A. Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. and she's electro pop and she likes okay the the whole black banana thing too that that's just i'm just like the video <laughs> the mind is of this girl so they, they're all they're you know, my, my, time out i gotta tell you my entire family thought i was absolutely nuts whenever i was creating that <laughs> no nah, why would they think why would they think uh, that georgia? they're like georgia what are you doing with black bananas are you okay yeah. <laughs> right, girl? it took i was looking at it too i'm like what's that i was like oh it's a black banana all right Obviously. I, I, Why not? You want to give an explanation? <laughs> you want to just kind of let people know what it's about? Or you just want to leave it in? Let their minds wander? You know what? Let's just, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right. All right. That, was a good, that was a good one. Okay. So for for those, for those that love the whole, the whole 5 o'clock Charlie thing, how can they find and follow you on social media? Um, so mainly I am on uh, Instagram, which is again at five o'clock Charlie. It's all spelled out, all one word. Um, but I'm, you can also hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and those are at B o'clock Charlie. Some other idiot decided to take five o'clock Charlie, and I'm very oh, upset. My goodness gracious. <laughs> But also, like, if you, I, I also do art. So if they want to hit me up on that, it's at five o'clock Charlie Art. Okay. Um, I, and then uh, I'm on Spotify, YouTube, anywhere you listen to music, I'm there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was going to ask about the YouTube because they got to see those visuals and the whole video and yep. all that stuff. So definitely. Um, yeah, look up There Goes My Body. That's my that's my main uh, music video from this EP so far. Gotcha. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. So they got all and the I'll do whatever I can. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. Listen, they, they have all the information now. Like, there's... They have everything. They're hooked. They're hooked. They want the whole. They need it in their life. They're gonna go out and, and buy all your music, all that good stuff. And so, please they, support. Please support. Exactly, Georgia. This was absolutely fun. I really, thank you really so, do. Thank you so much for having me. Like it, seriously, thank you and Triple Threat for for bringing me on. Listen, this was you're just. This was fun, and I knew it was gonna be fun. But this this kind of impressed me with how fun <laughs> how fun this was. Um, so <laughs> thank you so much for your time, for your talent. Uh, looking forward to Friday, brand new music, brand yep. new Christmas music. So Good looking fun. forward to that. We, you know, we might have to we might we might have to do another call then. You know what I'm saying? Maybe okay. maybe. I, I'm so down for it. All right. I'll see. That's what I like. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, so what's gonna happen now is. 
I'm just gonna stop talking, and I want you to introduce the song, um, and then that's it. Again, Georgia, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, the stage is yours. All right, hey everybody, this is Georgia with Five O'clock Charlie, and you are listening to Stars Are Always Shining. <laughs> 